Well, the most stellar show of the winter peaks tonight and tomorrow. Talked about the Geminids meteor shower. This event is a little different than others throughout the year. KXAN senior science reporter Eric Henriksen takes a closer look at the new discovery that may reveal why. The Geminid shower is one of the brightest meteor showers in the northern hemisphere. Each December, the night sky lights up as tiny rocks rain down and burn away. It's one of these fundamental processes of the solar system that you can just see. 21-year-old Wolf Sucker is an undergraduate student at Princeton University who's recently taken a unique look at this shower. The Geminids meteoroid stream is this tube of particles in space that every year Earth will fly through this tube. And when Earth flies through the tube, the meteors in that tube hit Earth and we see them as streaks in our sky. So what created this tube? Most streams are formed by comets regularly passing by the sun. As they do that, they release a bunch of material. But research scientist Jamie Zelay says that the Geminids were born from the remnants of an asteroid. It probably all formed very rapidly and catastrophically. Jamie and Wolf published a paper this summer revealing that a violent event likely created the debris cloud. This could be a thermal breakup as the asteroid or its parent body got closer to the sun. It kind of exploded due to internal um, stresses caused by heat. Or less likely, a collision of some sort. The team came to the conclusion after running several simulations using data collected by the Parker Solar Probe. We got the first close-up visible image of the Geminids meteorite stream. The debris tube was found further away from the asteroid scientists believe created it. The only way to get this material outside the orbit to be consistent with the images we got with Parker was to have something very catastrophic. Uh, very intense happen. A hypothesis supported by Wolf's computer models. It is very useful at this stage of my career to see the process of how to get a paper from like conception of an idea to it being published. It takes a lot of work to go through that process. Eric Henriksen, KXAN News.